What is up guys? Today I want to show you the best black and white loadout you can get for your inventory in CS2. There's a couple different ways you could do this depending on your budget and what you're looking for, but I want to show off what I have as well as what I think the best options are. There's no better way to start off this video than going through probably the most important part of your inventory and that's going to be your knife. If you're going to go with a black and white themed inventory, there's no better knife to get than a Huntsman Black Laminate Battle Scarred. As you can see here, I have 0.97 float, 0.98 pretty much, but the darker or the higher the float, the darker the black is going to be. It doesn't look quite as good in CS2 as it did in CSGO, but this is going to be the blackest knife that you're going to be able to get. And it looks a lot better in game than it does when you're inspecting it this way. Another great knife option is actually the Shadow Dagger Vanillas. They are super dark, they are super black. It just depends on if you want the butt plugs in your inventory. I really like the white accent they have here. That really goes well if you have white and black gloves or white gloves. I think this is another really good option. They're actually pricier than the Huntsman Black Laminate and Battle Scarred. So it really depends on your budget and if you want to have butt plugs in your inventory. Next thing I want to talk about is gloves. So you have a lot of different options with gloves depending on if you want white gloves, black gloves, or black and white gloves. So that's a good thing about the glove options. But you have two white gloves, two black and white gloves, and then an all black glove. As well as the T-side default gloves are pretty black. So if you don't want to buy a T-side uh, black glove, then you can actually have a pretty good option there. The first white glove option I want to talk about is the King Snakes. The King Snakes are an amazing white glove option. They are pretty pricey in minimal wear or factory new, but you can get them for a decent price point in a lower float field tested, and they do come out really white and have very minimal scratches and wear on them. The next white glove option I want to talk about is the Snow Leopards. The Snow Leopards are probably my favorite black and white combo glove because they do have the white, they do have the black accents, and they fit really well with black knives. They are probably the priciest ones of the five different options that we have in factory new or minimal wear. But similarly to the King Snakes, if you get a decent field tested pair, you're going to see them come out really white and have minimal wear on them. The first black and white pair I want to talk about is the black ties. I love the black ties. I love the black tie skins, the black tie gloves. In lower floats, these look incredible. The white really shines through. The black is really dark. And these are probably your more reasonably priced ones in lower floats compared to the king snakes and the snow leopards and they look amazing with the black huntsman knife, the black laminate huntsman knife. This is actually the gloves that I have in my inventory. I have them in a way higher float than the one that you're seeing, but they go super well with my knife. The next black and white glove option I wanna to talk to you about is the Moto Club Smokeout. These look incredible in CS2. They are more affordable than the first two white gloves that I showed, and they wear a lot better than the black tie. But similar, similarly to the black tie, the higher the float, the more brown they're going to get. But these pair super nicely with a black laminate knife or Shadow Daggers Vanilla. The last pair of gloves I want to talk to you about is the Sports Glove Knox. These are the all black gloves. Everyone loves the Sports Gloves. They're probably the most famous gloves in the game. You got the Omegas, you got the Vice Gloves, Pandora's Boxes. And then the Knox are the all black option. They don't look quite as good in CS2. They're not nearly as dark, but these are a great thing to pair with a black knife, like the like I've mentioned before, the Huntsman Black Laminate, the Shadow Daggers Vanilla, Falchion Knife Black Laminate. They go really well, and they do look a lot better in game than they do when you're inspecting it like I am here. So let's talk about starting pistols. There are a couple different options you can go depending on your budget. So the Glock 18 ironwork on the T side is a great option. It's really dark, it looks really good, and it's only a couple cents. You can get a decent float one for a couple cents, or you can go a higher battle scarred one, which is actually a little bit darker. 
you're going to see the rage sticker be a common theme in my inventory because you know it's black and white and it fits a lot of the different crafts that i want to do so the first option the more budget option is going to be the glock 18 ironwork i think it looks awesome in cs2 and i don't think it really looks like a budget option i think it looks like a really cool cs2 starting pistol pistol skin and you can save a lot of money by using this but if budget isn't an issue for you then i would recommend the glock 18 dragon tattoo again with the rage sticker this is going to cost you around a hundred bucks maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on when you're watching this video but it looks awesome in cs2 it's a little bit more of a silver effect but I love the way it shines and you have the black and white rage sticker here as well as the really dark dragon going across it. So let's talk about CT side pistols. So your starting pistol is going to be the USPS unless you're crazy and there's no better budget black and white option than the USPS ticket to hell. Minimal wear, factory new, it's only going to cost you a couple bucks. Pair it with some rage stickers, it's going to be an awesome budget friendly addition to your black and white inventory. If you want to go more white, then you can go with the USPS white out, pair it with some black and white stickers and an incredible addition to a black and white inventory. This is actually my play skin. As you can see, paired it with a couple different black and white options just so it's not all rage stickers throughout my inventory. In CS2, it does not show the wear as much as it did in CSGO and I think it's an incredible starting pistol and I, I love that I can't say more about this skin I love it so I'm sure you saw this one coming if you want to go black and white there's no better skin than the USPS print stream in CS2 right now it's not really having that glossy effect that it did in CS go but I still like the look of it I have it in battle scarred and a couple other of my skin of my weapons and I think it's you know my favorite skin in CS go like I have it on as many skins as possible besides the USPS print stream, but I think this is an incredible option for your black and white inventory for your CT side starting pistol. So for the Desert Eagle, you're gonna have a couple different options. There's a couple more budget friendly options as well as what I think is really the only option you can do. So the first budget option I'm gonna show you is the Desert Eagle, the Desert Eagle Conspiracy. It's all black, it looks really good. I just don't really like the gold touches. And in CS2, it looks a lot more yellow. So that's the first budget option I want to show you. The next budget option I wanna show you is the Desert Eagle Mecha Industries. Black, white, red looks really good. But in CS2, it has this sort of like yellowish, brownish, tannish color. So I don't think it fits quite as well in a black and white inventory but it is definitely more budget friendly and it's something you can start off with before moving to our next one. So what I think is the only black and white deagle that you should really get if you're gonna go for the black and white inventory theme is the Desert Eagle print stream. I talked about it about the USP, but I think the print stream is one of the best skins in the game across all the weapons that it's on and it fits that black and white theme inventory. Again, I have the Rage sticker here, as well as the Speedy T sticker, I think it's called, but I think this fits perfectly in my black and white inventory. On to the P250. So the P250 doesn't have that many black and white skins. The more budget-friendly option is gonna be the P250 Rebuilt, but as you can see, it's not as dark as I'd like it to be, and so I actually don't have this skin in my inventory. It is only a couple cents, like less than 50 cents if you wanna get it in factory new but it doesn't really fit that black and white theme that I was really looking for. So I got the best P250 skin, the P250 Whiteout with the same sticker build as I have on my USPS. I just think this skin looks really good in this game. Again, the wear doesn't show nearly as much as it did in CSGO and it fits perfectly in my CS2 inventory. The next gun I want to talk about is the Tech 9. There are not that many great options for the Tech 9, but I think the cutout would be the best option. Again, paired with some Rage stickers, it's not nearly as dark as I'd like it to be. It does get a little bit darker when you get with the higher floats, but it's again, it's only a couple bucks, and I think it's a perfect option for a pistol that I actually use. I also love in the Tech 9 how the sticker crafts on the back right here. I think that's a really awesome touch. 
And I think this is another perfect fit to a black and white inventory. The next gun we're gonna talk about is the dual Berettas. We really don't have that many good options here. The Elite 1.6 kind of just looks like the vanilla skin, but it's really cheap. It's less than a dollar to pick up. And I just put some really cheap white stickers that I got from opening Paris capsules on it. But I think it looks pretty good. I don't really use the dualies all that much, so it doesn't really matter, but this is a good option if you're going for that black and white inventory. Don't love the red. I don't know why I don't love when the red accents are in the guns for the skins that I use for black and white inventory, but you know, this is the best we're gonna get. Next is the CZ. So I wish this gun was better than it was just because I love the look of the skin so much. The black and white tuxedo is the best skin you're gonna get. It's only a couple bucks too. You can get it in minimal wear or factory new. Um, it's really, really cheap. It looks really good. It just depends on if you wanna spend money on skins that you don't actually play with. But perfect fit to a black and white inventory. Looks really good, it's really cheap, and it's nice to have just in case you are a CZ enjoyer. Next, we're on to the 5.7. So the 5.7 Cami is really, really famous for something other than being a good black and white skin. Um, I put it with some, you know, black and white, different black and white stickers here, but the top's actually a little bit more of like an ivory than it is an actual white. Still a really good option for the, for the 5.7. And let's check this out. No, I don't have it, but... Yeah, I love this skin. I don't really use the 5.7 that much, but it was only a couple bucks, and it is, to me, I think it's a good addition to the black and white inventory. So for the P2000, there really aren't that many skins that fit the black and white inventory. It's also not a gun. It's also a gun I don't use, so I don't have anything for it. But if you want vanilla skin, throw some stickers on it. Call it a day. Same thing with the R8 Revolver. Don't use it. Don't have any skins for it. I don't know. Maybe you can find one. I think there's like the llama cannon or something in Battle Scarred. It's pretty dark, but I don't use it, so there's no real reason for me to have a skin for it. On to some other guns I don't actually use. First one I'm going to show you is the UMP 45. Never use this gun. Have this carbon fiber UMP in my inventory through some Paris white stickers on it looks okay don't know don't use it don't really care it's a couple cents just bought it threw it in the inventory it looks all right i guess i don't know don't use the gun so don't really care about it same with the pp bison carbon fiber again don't use it don't really care souvenir because it was cheaper couple cents um you know another one threw some pair of stickers from opening capsules on it doesn't look that great but don't really use the gun so don't really care. M249, I don't actually think I've ever even used this in a game before, but the OS IPR, it's a little bit more of a blue um, skin, but you know, it looks okay. Don't have any stickers on it. I've never bought it in a game before. I've never used it before. So this was a couple of cents. So I just threw it in my inventory. Don't have a skin for the MP5 because I don't use it and there are no real black and white options for the MP5. People are enjoyers of this gun. Don't use it, never buy it, so don't have a skin for it. Same thing goes with the sawed off. No real good black and white options. There is one called like the bamboo something, but it looks a lot worse in CS2. Don't use it, don't buy, don't buy it in game, don't have a skin for it. This is a Gun that I never actually use, but I do have a skin for. This is the Swag 7 Mag 7. By far the best black and white option for the black and white inventory for the Mag 7. Looks pretty cool. I just don't use the gun. I threw some, I don't even remember what it is. Is that Ents? Ents pair of stickers that I got from opening capsules. As you see, as you can see, I've opened quite a few capsules, but um, looks okay. Don't really use it, but think it's a pretty cool skin and it's only a couple cents. Same with the Negev, the Negev prototype. It's an okay black and white option for the um, black and white inventory. Again, more Paris capsule stickers. Don't really use the gun. I actually have it in my inventory because I use it every, every now and again if I wanna mess around, but don't really love the skin. Got the red there, don't love that. 
but another option if you are a Negev enjoyer. Okay, let's do some mid-tier guns that I actually use. The first one is the MP9. MP9 Featherweight's gonna be your budget option. It's a couple cents. I think it's in the Revolution collection, so the case is constantly dropping right now. Um, really good black and white option, really good budget option, and this was my play skin for a long time until I recently upgraded to something that's black and white, but not quite black and white. So next option is the Hypnotic. This is definitely more expensive, around the 15, 20 bucks um, price range, but really, really cool skin. I love all the Hypnotic skins. This is one of my favorites. I use the MP9 quite a bit, so really, really love this skin. And I love that it's pattern based too, every different patterns. These little swirls come in a different area. But I think this is a really great option for black and white, even though I know this is more of a silver, but I love this skin. I think it fits perfectly, not quite perfectly, but I still think it fits pretty good in the black and white inventory. So for a gun, I never really use, but people do the MP7. You have two real options for this. The MP7 Armor Core, this is going to be your more budget option. Black and white for the most part, more of a silver, but still fits pretty good and is pretty good for sticker crafts as well. Your more budget option. It does look a little bit more green in CS2 compared to CSGO, but it's supposed to be silver and black. So another really good budget option for a black and white inventory. A more expensive option for a black and white inventory is the MP7 Whiteout. This isn't field tested because minimal wear factory new costs an arm and a leg and I'm not going to pay that much for a gun I don't really use. I have it in my loadout but it just you know when you have the mp9 it's you know why really waste your money on the mp7 but threw a little couple little stickers on this one. It's in field tested looks all right I kind of like the scratches but I wish it was more white. If you want to you know spend more money, spend like $75 on an MP7 skin, you can get the minimal wear one, or if you wanna spend 350, you can get the factory new one, but in my opinion, field test is, is pretty good, and I'm not gonna spend that much money on a gun I don't really use. Nova, the Nova is a beast of a gun. I love using it on round two on Vertigo and just rushing people with it. For your more budget option, you're gonna do the Nova Cage Steel. Really, really cheap. Just threw some, again, some Paris black stickers. You see, I have the heroic one back there, and then some Fluxo. I think they're what that's what they're called. On this one, this is going to be your more budget friendly option. And this is the one, this is my play skin. I don't feel like spending that much on the Nova skin, but your next option is going to be a little bit more expensive. Still kind of in the silver gray themed, a little bit less black and white, but still thinks it still think it fits the black and white inventory pretty well. Your more expensive option is going to be the Nova Graphite. The Nova Graphite, it looks kind of weird in CS2. Um, it's not nearly as dark as it was in CSGO, but this, the barrel is really dark. Still a really cool skin. It's just really expensive, and I don't feel like spending that much on a Nova skin. But really old one, Armsdale 2 collection, will fit the black and white inventory pretty nice. So for the XM, there's only one skin you really wanna be using for it because the black tie fits perfectly in the black and white. I love the black and white faded squares up here. Fits perfectly in the inventory. This one I actually bought with the Speedy T stickers already on it so I didn't have to waste any more money on any stickers and I love that sticker. I think it looks really good on the skin and I think it has a lot of potential for some pretty cool crafts as well. For the MAC-10, I think there's only one skin that really fits well for the black and white inventory, and that's going to be the MAC-10 Whitefish. It's a couple cents, and for a gun that I use all the time, I decided that I'd throw on some Rage stickers, even though they are like 15 bucks. It's like $16 to do the whole craft, but it's a gun I use all the time. I like the look of the Whitefish. I think it looks really good, and it fits perfectly in the black and white inventory. You could also do like the MAC-10 Silver, that again is like 20 cents in factory new, but I prefer the Whitefish. I think it's a little bit better fitting in the black and white inventory. And lastly, for the mid-tier, the P90. Not really many good skins for the P90 that fit the black and white inventory. This is going to be your best bet. It's the Elite build. Don't love the orange accents. 
Um, bought it with the PGL Stockholm Furious sticker st already on it as, and then just threw on. I don't know why. It looks pretty bad with the sticker craft, but I actually don't really use the P90 that much. I know people love to rush with it, but yeah, it's okay. It doesn't look that great, but it's a P90 skin. It's mostly black. Looks all right. People like the Elite build. They, you know, they're OG skins, so yeah, that's the P90. <laughs> On to rifles. So the first one is the T side Galil. Only one really real skin you can go with here is going to be the Galil Tuxedo. Couple bucks. Looks really good. Black and white. You're not going to find a better option than the Galil Tuxedo. In hindsight, I wish I did more crafts with the Nice Shot rather than the Rage. I like the Rage sticker a lot. I like the Nice Shot a lot. They're certified ninja. This one crafted with 4X Nice Shot stickers. Looks really good, but again in CST right now, the blacks aren't that black. They look more like a greenish. I'm hoping they fix that because right now that looks green to me. It doesn't look black when it's supposed to be black, and it was in CSGO. So the FAMAS, you're going to have a couple different options. The first one is my play skin, which is the FAMAS Dark Water. It shows a lot of scratches. It looks okay. It's more of a silver than it is black and white, but... Thinks it, I think it looks pretty good, and the you know, craft is pretty weird, but yeah, this is going to be your first option. Your second option is going to be the FAMAS Gin. So again, it has like the black and white, or it has black, but it also has the gold accents, which I don't really love, similar to the Desert Eagle Conspiracy. It has those gold accents, but it is a good option. It was my play skin for a long time until I thought, you know, I prefer the dark water and it's actually cheaper. Last option is the FAMAS Mecha Industries. This is one I just got off of CS Float, but um, black and white, yes, but it has like the red accents, which I don't love, which is why I ended up going with the dark water. All of them are only gonna cost you a couple bucks, a couple dollars, and um, it's a gun that people actually use. So hoping they come out with a better black and white skin, but for now, for me, the dark water is a good option, and the other two are a good option as well. On to the AUG. So the first option is going to be your more budget option, which is the AUG Arctic Wolf. I actually really do like the Arctic Wolf skins. I just wish there wasn't that red accent. I know people do like the red accents, but I wish they just went with the black, white, and gray theme throughout the entire skin. But yeah, this is a couple bucks going to run you a five, four, three bucks, I forget how much it was, but a good option, and it's a gun I don't really use now that you can have both the A4 and the um, M4A1S, but if you're an AUG user, this is a pretty good skin for a reasonable price. Your more expensive option is gonna be the AUG Wings. It is an OG, OG skin, part of the original arms deal collection, and it, it, it was a lot more black and white in CSGO, but the lighting here makes it look like gray and like a bluish color, but still looks pretty good and gonna run you around 20 bucks, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, but yeah, really cool skin. And if you're an AUG enjoyer, this is a great um, one to add to your black and white inventory. Next up is the SG. The SG, you're gonna have two really good options for this. The first one being the Damascus Steel. Really cool skin, black, white, not bl not white, black and kind of silverish gray. Really cool, this is my play skin, don't really have any crafts on it, don't really use it, but had it have it in the inventory just because it fits the theme, but there's a really, there's a lot better option, and I'm gonna get it at some point, I just don't feel like spending, I think it's like 50 to 70 bucks on the next one. The other option is the Hypnotic. I love all the Hypnotic skins, I said it earlier, but really, really cool skin. I love the pattern based and I love it on the SG. I just don't feel, I don't justify myself spending that much money on an SG skin, especially when it's a gun I don't really use. So um, yeah, this is gonna be your more expensive option. And I think it looks great without any sticker crafts. I think it looks pretty cool in game as well. But again, more of a silver than a white, but looks great in CS2 and um, would be a really good option if budget isn't an issue. It's auto sniper time. So I don't use any of the auto snipers, but um, maybe I should because I'm pretty bad at the game. But polar camo gonna be the best option for the G3 SG1. 
Um, nothing more to say. It's black and white. Threw some, again, some Flexo Paris capsule stickers that I got from opening capsules. Don't use it, just have it in the collection and the inventory because it is cheap. And um, yeah, that's about it. Next one is the Scar, another carbon fiber skin. I think this is my third in my inventory. It's black, grayish, threw some stupid worthless stickers on it. Don't use it. But I mean, if, if you're a Scar user, this is a really good option for you for a black and white inventory. And it's really cheap. So for the Scout, you're actually going to have four different decent options, and all of them are relatively inexpensive. I think the most expensive you're going to get is like a couple bucks. But the first one being carbon fiber again. You know, I don't actually have this in my inventory anymore because I have too many carbon fiber skins already. And this is a gun that I actually use every now and again. So carbon Carbon fiber is your first option. Second option is actually going to be another dark water camo. Seems like they have this camo on like every gun now. I know it's on the USP, the M4A1S, the um, FAMAS, and now the Scout. So I actually guess not now the Scout. This was in, released in 2014. But yeah, another good option. A couple bucks again, not going to run you much, but it does show a lot of wear on the scope and other places, so not my favorite um, skin for this gun. Next one is the Scout Parallax. This is actually a really cool skin for this gun, but it does it is kind of green. It's black and white, but it's like got got that 3D effect, so it's red, like turquoise and like reddish orange as well. I don't know, I'm a little bit colorblind. <laughs> But um, yeah, another really good option. Again, only a couple bucks. And this is another good budget option as well. But my favorite is the Scout Detour. So I actually have this in Souvenir because it's significantly less expensive in Souvenir in a low float. Black and white perfectly. Um, looks really good. It's really cheap. It's a gun that I actually use. Should probably do some sort of sticker craft on it, but you know, I think it looks pretty good how it is, and I wish you could put a sticker on the scope, but you can't. So I think putting stickers across the air where the arrows are kind of do it, do it an injustice. So leaving it how it is right now, and I think this is the best option for the Scout, but you have quite a few options if you want to go a more black route than you want to, you know, you want to go more black crap <laughs> if you use the m4a4 you do have a couple options and the good news is all of them are relatively inexpensive like a couple bucks max the first one's going to be the magnesium a little bit more of a silver effect but it was a lot darker in csgo um they have it has that like reddish orange accents on it and this and if it hits the light the um right here that turns kind of blue but that's a good option for the M4A4. What I think is a much better option is the mainframe. The mainframe looks sweet. It's a lot darker. It's a lot more black and white. And I don't actually really use the M4A4, but um, I do have this skin and I think it looks incredible on CS2 and a really great option if you want to have a black and white theme and you like to use the M4A4. Last option is the Urban DD Pat. This, this skin actually is across a lot of different weapons, but I'm only really showing it now. Maybe I showed it before, I don't remember. I get that in the polar camo kind of confused, but another good option and it's gonna cost you nothing to do this unless you wanna do the sticker craft, but another good option for black and white inventory if you are an M4A4 user. So for the AK-47, doesn't really make sense to get any other uh, skin than the AK-47 slate. All black, super sleek, looks really good. So much potential for sticker crafts. I got three X Rage and one Certified Ninja. I actually bought this off of CS Float for like literally no overpay. It was like $4 or something. So. Yeah, I think this is your best option. You could get a Steel Delta, a Red Line, um, what are the other ones? A Black Laminate, but I don't see why you, why you would. A lot of potential for sticker crafts on here. And, you know, it's a Black AK. What else can you look for when you're doing a black and white inventory? So the M4A4, you have a bunch of different options for this one. 
The first one being the most budget friendly and one of my favorites was my play skin for a long time before I just upgraded. And this is gonna be the Basilisk. Looks super, super good in CS2. It shines a lot more, more of a gray, silver and black theme, but really I think it looks amazing. And it looks super cool in game as well. It has a lot of potential for sticker crafts, but yeah, this is gonna be your first option, the M4A1S Basilisk. Another more budget-friendly option would be the A1S Mecha Industries. I've showed it a couple of times on a, def on a couple of different skins, but black and white, yeah, but you know, has the orangish red little accents, which I don't love. But again, it's gonna be a lot more inexpensive than the next two skins. So another great option if you wanna build that black and white inventory. So getting into the pricier side is the M4A1S Darkwater. I've showed Darkwater a couple times, but this is a really good option for you if you have more of a budget and you don't wanna get the next one because it's a little bit too played out. But yeah, M4A1S Dark Water is gonna run you about a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. Don't know the exact pricing, but really good option. A lot of potential for sticker crafts. I would just rather go with the Basilisk. Basilisk can save yourself some money if you're gonna go with the darker themed, but I think it looks pretty cool too. I'm sure you didn't see this one coming, but this is my play skin, the M4A1S Print Stream. I have it in Battle Scar just because it gets really pricey the higher you go up. I have some Rage stickers on it, but it doesn't really show the wear all too much. And yeah, it's my favorite gun in the game and my favorite skin in the game. So can't really say much more than that. Um, love this gun. Wanted it for so long. Was finally able to get it. Um, yeah, but perfect black and white theme. Again, in CS2 right now, it's not really showing the pearlescent effect but I actually kind of like it. I like it being a little bit more black and white than it would be like purplish pink and everything when it had the more pearlescent effect. But yeah, M4A1S Print Stream, my favorite gun and fits the, in fits the uh, inventory perfectly. There is actually one more M4A1S skin I do want to show. The M4A1S Knight, ungodly expensive. I don't really love it. It's black, it's gold. Maybe if you're doing a black and gold themed inventory, but... Um, yeah, it's black and gold. It's a couple thousand dollars because it trades up to the Dragon Lore. Um, yeah, but another black M4A1S, if you want to spend a couple thousand bucks on one, there it is. <laughs> the AWP, the OP, the AVP. So I know I've been kind of coming at the black and gold kind of combo. I know I just kind of came at it couple times on the Jin, on the Desert Eagle Conspiracy, the M4A1S Knight, but this is an exception. I love this skin. It is only, I, this cost me $4, and I think it's one of the best op skins in the game. I love the effect in CS2 that the little, cre whatever these are called, the river effect that it has. And I love the Rage sticker on top. I actually got this already crafted on CS Float. So love this skin. It's a um, really good budget option. It doesn't cost much, and I think it looks really good in game. And there's one other option I'm thinking about maybe getting if I decide to upgrade the op, but I don't know. I think this actually might look better. So the other option is the op Graphite, another OG OG skin from the Bravo collection. You know, it looks really good, but it's really pricey. And I love the nice shot sticker on the scope here. If I, I think I might end up upgrading to this, but who knows, I really do like the Black Nile and I'll save myself a couple hundred bucks by not getting this. And maybe I can get a nicer pair of gloves than I currently have, but this is a really cool option and it is gonna run you a couple hundred bucks, but it looks awesome and it's super OG. You thought I was done. No, let's talk about agents really quick. So for T side, you're not gonna get anyone better than Getaway Sally. I think Getaway Sally is one of the most expensive agents, but looks really cool with the white sleeves, match that with either a pair of black or white gloves and a black knife. It's gonna look super good. So for the T side, Getaway, Getaway Sally is going to be your best um, agent. 
So for CT agents, you actually don't have that great of an option. So I typically go with the Lieutenant Commander Ricksaw, um, just because the sleeves are rolled up and when you're in game, you only see his forearms. But there is one other option. I just don't know if it fits perfectly. Your other option is going to be Michael Cyphers, the FBI sniper. He It's black, but it's more of a gray. It fits okay, but... Yeah, there's not really that many great options, so I just prefer the one where the sleeves are rolled up and you just go straight into the gloves. But yeah, those are the agents. So that is a full black and white inventory. I know there are a couple guns where the skins don't really fit or some guns where I actually don't have skins for them, but, you know, sometimes it's just not going to work out and there are not going to be any skins that fit your um, theme. But I think for the most part, that's the best it's going to get. I spent a lot of time going through every skin and, and every, on every single weapon and making sure that I have or, or am at least informed of the best black and white skin for each gun. Maybe I missed a few. Maybe there's some, but that's what you guys are for. Leave some comments down in the comment section about some guns that I missed or some better options, some better sticker crafts because... As you saw, a lot of it's Rage, a lot of it's Nice Shot, a lot of it's Certified Ninja. Would love, and some Speedy T as well, would love some more sticker craft options. I've seen people scratching stickers for and them showing the white underneath. I think that'd be a pretty cool option. But yeah, black and white inventory. I'll put the prices of most of the skins on the screen while you go through so you can get an idea as to how much it would cost to actually put together an inventory like this but mine you know I got some skins a while ago and they've gone up significantly in price like the USP white USPS whiteout got that for like 12 bucks like not even a year ago and it's already at to fit it's already up to 50 so yeah let me know some cool craft ideas or some guns I've missed in the comments and I will uh, see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a good time building your black and white inventory.